oftentimes when you're working in After Effects, you want to mark a certain spot so you know where something happens. Let's say maybe there's a certain part of the audio that happens, maybe a click or something, and you need to sync up your animation with that point in the audio. Well, having a marker at that particular frame where that audio is happening is going to really help you while you're creating your animation. So we're going to look in this movie at two different types of markers, composition markers and layer markers. First, let's talk about comp markers. I'm going to scrub my timeline here. I'm using this markers project you'll find in the uh, chapter 4 folder. We'll look at this project again in chapter 7 when we create the dragon's fire. But for now, let's go out to the frame where the dragon first opens his mouth that is something that we might want to sync up a lot of stuff to. We might want to sync up the fire layer to that. We might want to do something with the dragon to animate his body different. We might want to add an audio track and sync that up to where the dragon opens his mouth. Maybe a sound effect or something. So what we're going to do is create a brand new composition marker by going to the far right side of the timeline panel and clicking and dragging this little shield icon, dragging it over to the current time indicator, and then let go. We've now created a numbered composition marker. So just visually, we can look in this composition and see exactly where this point happens. And we can add as many of these comp markers as we want to. Now, another little trick is that if you push 1 on the main area of the keyboard, not on the numeric keypad, but on the main area of the keyboard, it will jump you to this numbered comp marker. If I were to create another comp marker, it would be 2. And if I press 2 on the main area of the keyboard, it jumps there. So I could push 1 and 2 to jump back and forth between those two points. Now, as I mentioned, there's also layer markers. Let's say, for example, this fire layer. I want to create a marker for this first frame when fire first starts coming out of his mouth. What I can do is hit the asterisk key on the numeric keypad, and that will create a layer marker. So you see the difference between the marker on the comp and the marker on the layer. Layer markers are great for when you want to sync things to audio. Layer markers are especially helpful for syncing to audio because you can add these using that asterisk keyboard shortcut. You can add these while you're playing the file back, while you're doing a RAM preview. So let's say you're listening to the uh, audio track or something like that, and it's like, bomb, chick, bomb, bomb. What you could do is you could hit the asterisk key like while the music is making those hits, and those will show up as layer markers after you're done with the RAM preview. So for here, it would be like, bomb, chick, bomb, bomb, or whatever. So one here and then a couple over here. Now, for both comp and layer markers, if you double-click on one of them, you will get a marker dialog box. This allows you to do all sorts of stuff. For example, you could set comments. So I could say, uh, dragon breeze, let me spell that right, breeze, fire. I could also set chapter information if this is going out to DVD, or I could put URL and frame target information if this is going to be rendered to a file format that supports this behavior. There's only a couple that do. I know that MOV files support this behavior. So basically you can put a web address in this URL field, and then when people watch this movie and they get to this marker, automatically their web browser will be launched and they'll be taken to that website. Also, if you work with Flash, you can create cue points from this dialog box as well. And when you export to FLV, markers become Flash cue points. Here you can name the cue point, decide whether it's an event or a navigation cue point, and specify parameter names and values. Click OK here, and you can see the comment that I added shows up in the timeline panel. Dragon breathes fire. So I know what that's doing. There you have it. There's markers. It's amazing how powerful they're making these things. At first, they were just kind of like these little indicators where stuff happened, and then they became these navigational tools with the keyboard shortcuts where you can go back and forth here, jump to the next and previous markers, and now they're these great integration tools where you could set up chapter markers and web links and flash cue points and stuff. So again, markers are very useful and powerful. Get used to using them in your workflow. In the next movie, we're going to look at certain types of layers that can be created from scratch in After Effects.